Hello, I'm Dr. John Robson. My professional career started as a dentist, specialising in orthodontics and then becoming a forensic dentist, of which there are not many. We are a rare breed indeed. As such, I've worked in many places all over the world. I still give talks to postgrad students, coroners, police and lay audiences. And as well as writing a book and chapters for textbooks, I even appeared on TV's Crime Watch. I hasten to say, not as the suspect. My lectures concern forensic dentistry, forensic science and true crime. These are fascinating and informative and include many personal anecdotes. My subjects cover fingerprints, DNA, toxicology, pathology, bite marks, etc. And I link these with historical true crime stories. Some of these are even related to specific destinations, such as Rome, Barcelona, Norway, etc. I've been a cruise speaker for over five years, working on Royal Caribbean, Fred Olsen, and Ambassador. My feedback has always been excellent, and my talks have proved extremely popular. So let me show you some examples of my cruise ship presentation. This is one of my forensic dental lectures. I look at the science of bite marks and show several of my own cases. I then discuss one of the most famous bite mark cases. This is where an American serial killer was brought to justice almost entirely on bite mark evidence. Here we see a slide from my presentation entitled Murderous Medics. We review their crimes and how they were apprehended. And why is it that just a few doctors have become murderous? We tell the tales of some of these dodgy doctors. And some, such as Shipman and Crippin, may well be familiar. But I always talk about crimes of some lesser, well-known murderous medics. One of my forensic science presentations is about toxicology. So we open a window into poisons and discuss historical poisoning cases. I'm sure you recognise this plant. This is deadly nightshade, also called belladonna. This is Italian for beautiful lady. And historically, uh, drops prepared from this plant were used to dilate women's pupils. The effect was considered to be attractive and seductive. Belladonna has been used in herbal medicine for centuries. However, be warned, it is one of the most toxic plants. 10 to 20 berries can be a lethal dose for adults, but it's only two or three for children. Finally, as you see, this is a talk about murders where a body has never been found. For example, in July 2001, an English couple, Peter Falconio and his partner, Joanne Lees, were driving at night near Alice Springs in Australia. They were travelling in this hired orange camper van. A man stopped them. Gunshots were fired. Joanne escaped but Peter was never found. Initially, the police had grounds to suspect Joanne herself was involved. However, four years later, a local man was charged and found guilty of Peter's murder. All forensic work is necessarily pretty serious, so I incorporate some humour now and then, and this is always well received. So thank you for listening, and I hope this has been of some interest.